Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try and show you how to calculate the formula for the p-value using something called the Fisher's exact test. Now, the Fisher's exact test for a two by two table, I've labelled up each uh, input in the observation as p, q, r, and s. Now, the formula for the Fisher's exact exact test is something like this. So p would equal so take the top line first. So we use the binomial coefficient of P plus Q. And then we just take out the P. So basically that which means P plus Q, choose P. And then we multiply that with the same on the bottom row, which is R plus S, and then choose R. So that's what we've got there. And then we divide that by the whole table, which is Rn, so that's our total value, and then we want P plus R, so that's these two here. So N choose P plus R. That's our formula. Now that looks uh, like a binomial coefficient uh, set of three numbers there, but there's more we can do. We can simplify this up. So if we have, for example, here, P plus Q, P, so P plus Q, P, we know that this is the same as P plus Q, choose P, which is also done by P plus Q, and take the factorial of that, and then divide that by the difference of the two. So we then get P plus Q minus a P. And take that factorial, so that would be one of them. And then the other one would be P plus Q. This time we subtract the Q. And that's also factorial. And then that would simplify even more because we could take the P minus P, obviously that disappears. So we then end up with P plus Q on the top, factorial. And then we this one here, which would be Q factorial, and multiply that by this one when simplified, would be P factorial. So we can simplify these two terms off by plugging something like this into our formula. So let's plug that in. Let's see what we get. So on the top, so we'd have P plus Q, and that's factorial. And then divide that by this one here. So I'm going to just plug them in as they was. P plus Q minus P factorial. And then multiply that by P plus Q minus Q factorial. That's our one there. And then if I just take this off the board here just to try and fit this in. Using this one. We then, then we've got R plus S factorial. Then using this R on the bottom, we then have R plus S minus R factorial. And then R plus S minus S factorial. And then taking this one here. Now the N, we can change that because that's just going to be P plus Q plus R plus S. So now we've got... P plus Q plus R plus S. So I'm just going to write it like that for now. And we need to take out P and R, uh, which is these two. And then we'll have to take out a Q and an S. So we then divide that. So this is the top part. That's our numerator. This is going to be our denominator. So now on the bottom, we've got P plus Q plus R plus S minus P plus R. So minus P plus R, and that is all factorial. And then we're going to multiply that by the other combination. So we'll have P plus Q plus R plus S minus, and then instead of P plus R, this time we need to use the Q and S. So Q plus S factorial. Okay, let's just simplify that. Right. Let's do the next line. Let's just uh, 
see what we can do with this. Well, first of all, we can cross out all of these repeated plus and minuses. So our top line will now become P plus Q factorial multiplied by R plus S factorial. And these will simply become P, sorry, this one here will be uh, Q, P, S and R. So we've now got P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial and S factorial. So we're still on our numerator. Now our denominator. So now we've worked out our bottom line. We can just plug this one back in as our N factorial. And then same here, we can just simplify these off. So P plus Q plus R plus S minus P plus R, that's just going to leave us with Q and S factorial. And the same here, P plus Q plus, R, P plus, Q plus R plus S minus the Q plus S, just leaves us with P plus R factorial. Okay. So now we can simplify this off even more. So now what we can do is to make this all into one fraction, I can bring this top and bottom of the whole thing together. So this one can join this one, and then this one can join this one to make our denominator. So this will become our numerator, this will become our denominator. So then that will leave us with P plus Q factorial, times R plus S factorial, and then these two here. So then we've got P plus R factorial, and Q plus S factorial. And then we divide that by this one times this one. So now we've got P factorial times Q factorial, R factorial, S factorial, and then N factorial. And that will give us our Fisher's exact test equivalent to the P value. So I'm going to put that as my P there. Now, obviously, if you're going to use really big numbers in this table, like in the hundreds, this is going to make things very difficult to calculate. But for reasonably small values, this is a great way of working out the P value.